Hi, this presentation is part of our partner training program. I will first introduce a Easy Wi-Fi Planner and how to sign up and sign into Easy Wi-Fi Planner. Next, I will elaborate on how to use Easy Wi-Fi Planner to plan a wireless network. Given the Ingenious corporate philosophy of ease of use and visualization, Ingenious developed Easy Wi-Fi Planner to reduce the complexity and the hassle of planning Wi-Fi networks. Planning the number of, and placement of Wi-Fi APs is not easy. It requires some knowledge and skill. The Ingenious Easy Wi-Fi Planner can help you plan Wi-Fi installations. Ingenious provides the online Easy Wi-Fi Planner free of charge. The presentation is to show you how this tool can be used. Be aware the resulting report will always be an approximation of the real world. It is preferable to do a wireless survey to confirm that the result from Easy Wi-Fi Planner is also a viable real world solution. I will switch to my uh, browser now to show how this uh, will work. Once you have a valid login, you can click on login from our partner ingeniousnetwork.eu site and type in your email address and password and log in. Next, you have to go to Easy Cell and then Easy Wi-Fi Planner to access the application. If you want to create a new project, you click on the plus, you type in a name, you select a country, and you press on Create. Once you have created the project, you can click on View Project to open it up. It will still be empty. Next step would be to add a floor plan. Just one is if there's one floor or multiple, if there are multiple floors or buildings in the same project. So click on plus. First floor, actually the only floor I'm going to put in. And drag in the floor plan. And press apply. Next step is that you have to set the scale. This should be 5.1 meters wide, so 5.1 and meters, 5.1 meters, and press apply. And you can see the scale, each square is from one by one meters. Next, you can create, or you have to create, the coverage zone. I will just do a single coverage zone. Note that, that this is something you have to do after adding the floor. Um, once we're done here, we cannot make any changes. The other things to know is that the floor plans the coverage areas cannot be overlapping. If it's only on one side, it will adjust it. You can also put in exclusion zones. 
again also for the exclusion zones if they're overlapping you will get a warning but if it's only a partial overlap it will adjust so I want to have my Wi-Fi even on the toilet so I will leave it at in and press done next you will have to put in the obstacles well I will assume that everything is as concrete walls so this wall on the front the other wall this wall the inside walls are a little bit thinner one brick wall here brick wall here one here And that was the last brick wall. Put in f some doors, one here and one here. Now it's very hard to see the lines I draw have drawn, but I can check the layers and remove the floor plan to see if they are about right. Um, well, I see that my concrete wall is not ex precisely right but I will close it off here well good enough oh wait I have one more door to port put in here so in this case I just ignored the windows here and the front door here because I'm only interested in the inside of the building when you do not have a uh, obstacle area or Wi-Fi zone selected you can pick up any of the objects move them around and change the endpoints in this case I can remove this one I didn't need it and I can just connect this one up I can also adjust the bottom one and make make the front wall nice and straight and make the other ones connect up correctly and I'm done so put in back my floor plan I have done my obstacles um, I can also add furniture if I wish but in this case it's pretty open so I will leave it like this the next step is to start the advisor it will select a AP automatically but in this case I will just want to select a specific access point the other settings I will leave as is and then press run now I can leave it like this but in this case I'm not really happy with this the placement is not to my liking and I will just move this one and I will add an access point again I have a choice I can choose which kind of access points you want to point put in I will put in e another ECW220 and that one I will put right here
and you'll see that the coverage has been automatically added. I could put in even more access points if I wish, but I will leave it like this. This is something I can repeat for every floor every that I need to put in. And then when I've done that, I can generate a report by clicking on the button report. It will take a little while for it to create a report. Now the report will have four, well, pages, chapters, one for the environment setting, one for the AP location. And note that it's also put in the channels to select, one for with the AP list, and note that it will also put in the suggested power and one with your heat map for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz which should be uh, this identical in this case because of the 60b offset in power once you're happy with this you can just press on download report uh, and it will Eindhoven, the Netherlands. Ah oh, well, Eindhoven NL. Want to have everything in the report? Then I press run. It will generate a report. It will download the report and I can open that PDF later. If you want to do some more, I can close the report and go back to do another project or to open the old project. Back to my presentation. There are some limitations for uh, our project. They use the same material attenuation for both the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz signals. This is not entirely true. Uh, material attenuation will differ because of material humidity and the material choices and thickness. Since are available are not exactly matching the real world situation or potentially not matching them. So we have ignored that um, but still the result should be in the right bar ballpark depending on how carefully you filled in the, your uh, your obstacles we're not able to stack our floors they're side by side and each can calculate it on their uh, on their on their own so it does not take into account that one floor can be above another floor and maybe have some overlap. Also, you have noticed that I have to draw in all the uh, walls and furniture myself. Um, it's pretty hard for a uh, computer to do that for now. Um, not just because of uh, the lights, because it would probably not be that hard to just draw all the lines, but then it is very hard for the computer to determine if something is a concrete wall or a dry wall or maybe even uh, a door or a window, which is quite easy for us to see. Um, at the moment, we cannot export our settings, which are in the uh, report, and import them to Easy Master or the cloud. Also, we cannot uh, change the prepared by in the 
report it will always be ingenious and lastly uh, it does not show the report does not show a com cumulative um, it, the report does not show a cumulative uh, list of all the required APs. It's it's per floor, so you have to add those up by yourself. So some final words. If you have any questions or comments, please drop us an uh, email at uh, support at ingeniousnetworks.eu. This presentation will be downloadable as a, as a PDF from our partner portal. And uh, please subscribe to our YouTube uh, channel. We will be putting up more movies in uh, on the channel in the coming months. Thank you.